Hello friends, this video on constructions part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's draw a triangle whose perimeter is given and two angles are given. So let the let given is what A B plus A C plus B C that is given and these two angles are given. So let's draw a line segment X Y with the length A B plus B C plus C. Okay. Then what we can do is two angles are given, right? These two angles are given. These two are different angles actually. So let's draw these two angles. Okay, angle B and angle C. Once we draw this angle, what we can do is then draw the bisector of these angles. Pretty easy. We can take this point the center, draw arc, take this point the center, draw arc, so then take this point the center, draw arc, draw arc. And join this point, you get bisector of these angles. Right? And it will meet at a point, and this point is called point A. Okay. Now if you see this whole length is the perimeter. Somewhere we have to find this point B and C somewhere here, such that if you find, let's suppose B here, such that AB will be equal to BX. You have to find C such that AC will be equal to what? CY. And thus we get BC somewhere here. Right? So to do that, if we have to find point B here such that AB is equal to CX and C here so that AC is equal to CY, what we have to do? We have to find the perpendicular bisector of AX and AY. So let's do that. For AX, let's find the perpendicular bisector. Okay? And similarly, let this point be B. Similarly, for AY, let's find the perpendicular bisector. You know how to find perpendicular bisector? With A as center, we will draw an R. With Y as center, we will draw an R. Similarly, with A as center, we will draw an R. So, Y as center, we will draw an R and we will march. And let this point be C. Now, if you see, ABC is the required triangle for us. Why? Because if you see, BX is equal to BA. Why? Because this B, let's suppose this is M and this is N. BM is perpendicular bisector of AX. Similarly, CA is equal to CY. Why? Because CN is perpendicular bisector of AY. So this perimeter is clear. Now let's talk about the angle. See, if this angle is angle 1, let's suppose, right? If this angle is also angle 1, why? Since BX is equal to CA, both angles will be same. This angle will be what? Angle 1 plus angle 1, that is 2 angle 1. And what is this angle? This angle is twice of angle 1. Correct? So this angle is equal to this angle. Similarly, here also you see, if this angle is, let's suppose, angle X, this angle is also angle X, this is what? 2X. If this is 2X, this angle is X, this is what? 2x. So if you see, we had to form 2x and we have got 2x here. So we had to form, and let's, let's take y here. Let's take y here. Let's take y here. This is y, this is y, this is 2y, and this is also 2y. Correct? So with that, if you see, the ang tri triangle which you found ABC, which has the parameter uh, AB plus BC plus CA, the perimeter, and these angles are also what we wanted. Okay. Please pause the video and understand the steps. You can learn the steps. And this is the explanation of why we did that. Okay, first we drew a line x pair of the, the parameter, then we drew these two angles. And for these two angles given, we, then we drew the angle bisector, it made it point A. That was the point A. And then what we did was for these two uh, line segment XA and XY, we drew perpendicular bisector. It was, it touches this line x, y at b and c. So a, b and c are the points. So a, b, c is the required triangle. Now let's take some numericals on what the concept we have learned. So this is the same question, but here we have data. So you have to construct a triangle a, b, c where the sum of the sides a, b plus b, c plus c is given and this angle b is given 60 degree and angle c is given 45 degree. So what we'll do first, since the total length is 11 centimeter, we'll draw 11 centimeter line segment. Then these two angles are given. So we'll draw a 45 degree angle here and we'll draw a 60 degree angle here. So once we are done with this, we'll draw a perpendicular bisector of these two angles. Right? So once we are done with the angle, this is the point A. 
these two perpendicular bisectors, sorry, the angle bisector, these two angle bisector will meet at point A. Now, when we have to draw perpendicular bisector for AX and AY. So, let us do that. AX and perpendicular bisector is done. Similarly, for AY, we will draw perpendicular bisector, right? And this will meet at this point and this point we see. And thus, this is the triangle ABC. Correct? Let us take another example where uh, the base is given BC 7 cm. So, we will draw BC of 7 cm. Angle B is given, so we will draw angle B of 75 degree first. We can draw this using compass or protector, whatever we want, we can draw that. And then AB plus AC is given 13 cm. So, we do not know where is A. So, what we will do is 30 cm we will take in, in the compass and then using B as center, we will cut that. This is 13 cm. Now, we have to find a point A somewhere such that and let this point be D. So, we have to find a point A such that AB is equal to AC. Right? To do that, what we can do is we can just join DC first and then we can draw a perpendicular bisector of DC. Right? So, once we have drawn the perpendicular bisector of DC, what you will see that this point is A. Correct? Right? This point is A. Thus, ABC is our triangle. Let us take this one where the difference is given AB minus AC, where AB is greater than AC. So, we have BC given, B is 45 angle degree is given, this is 8 centimeter, and AB is greater than AC. So, we will use the same steps we have learned. First, we will draw BC of 8 centimeter, then we will draw angle B of 45 degree. You can draw using compass, you can first draw 90 degree, and then you can do angle bisector, you can do 45 degree. So, once we are done with that, what we can do is, we know the uh, difference AB minus AC is 3.5. So, we can first plot a point 3.5 here and we can just join it and let, let this point be D. So, this is 3.5. Now, we need to find the point A such that AD is equal to AC. To do this, we will do angle bisector of DC. So, to do this with C A center, we draw an R, with D A center, we draw an R, again with D A center, we draw an R. And with C A center we draw an R and we have joined this, it joins at point this point, and this point will join, and this point is A. Right now, ABC is my required triangle. Why? Right? Because AD is equal to AC, and we know that AB minus AC is nothing but AD minus AC, and AD minus sorry, AB minus AC is nothing but AB minus AD, and AB minus AD is nothing but 3.5 centimeter. Let us draw another triangle where uh, again QR is given 6 cm, angle Q is 60 degree and here if you see PQ, PR minus PQ is given that is PQ is smaller than PR. So, we have to follow the other approach, right. So, please first draw this triangle in rough and then you can actually uh, draw the triangle. So, in this case looking at the example we can say that this is the second case where uh, PQ is smaller than PR. So, first in this case also first we will draw a QR of 6 cm length, then we will draw a line and this angle has to be 60 degree and this length is what? 2 cm. So once this is done, we will join these two points and let this point be D. Now you have to find a point A somewhere, sorry P somewhere such that PQ is equal to PR. Right? Sorry, PD is equal to PR. Correct, PD is equal to PR. So, what we can do in this case, we will draw a, a perpendicular bisector of DR. So, with RS center, we will draw an R. With again DA center, we will draw an R. Again DA center, we will draw an R. With RS center, we will draw an R. And we will touch this and we will again join this point with R and we will call this point P. So, PQR is the required point. And here you see. PR is equal to PD. So, when I say PR minus PQ, I mean PD minus PQ and PD minus PQ, if you see, just by looking at this, you can say PD minus PQ is nothing but 2 cm. Correct. So, let us do a quick summary of what we have done. So, with this, we have done the construction using ruler and compass for, I mean, we have done the construction to bisect an even angle. 
to draw perpendicular bisector for a given line segment to construct various angles like 60 degree, uh, 30 degree, 45 degree, 90 degree. We have learned to construct a triangle given its base, base angle and sum of other two sides. We have also learned to construct a triangle given its base, base angle and the difference of two sides. Here we had two different options. We have also learned to construct a triangle given its perimeter and its two base angles. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.